One shouldn't tell himself, who am I to daven to build the base of Mikdash? And as the mention is brought down with Moshe Rabbeinu, Rabbeinu Yenner brings in Shaira Shara Avoida, that when Hashem told Moshe Rabbeinu to build a menorah, because I need light, Moshe Rabbeinu told Hashem, Hashem, no matter how many menorahs I build, it's never going to be enough. You are Kaddish Baruch Hu, you're the creator of the world. No matter how much light I give you, it's never enough because you're bigger and better. And then Hashem tells him, oh, bring me a karban. I want a karban. Bring me a karban. Bring me Marisha Ben tells Hashem, I should give you karbanas. You're Hashem. You created the whole world. No matter how much karbanas I bring, if I take all the animals in the world, it's not going to be enough for you. You're Hashem. You own everything. And Hashem tells him, I want a shulchan. A shulchan. No matter how much bread I bake you, it's never going to be enough, Marisha Ben told him. No matter how many bake you own, it's never going to be enough. Hashem, you created the world. What are you asking me to do? You're asking me to build you a home called the Beis Hamikdash. You're asking me to build you the Mishkan. Tells Marisha Ben to Hashem, no matter what I do, it's never going to be enough. You're the creator of the world. And then Hashem answered Moshe Rabbeinu, who says the Medrash, famous Medrash, and it's a powerful Medrash, and think about it. Hashem told Moshe Rabbeinu, all I ask from you is to do your part, your chelik. Of course, I don't need your light, I don't need your bread, I don't need your karbanas, I don't need your house. Hashem says, I created the whole world. But I want to see that you did your part. You're doing your part, although it's small, to me that's the whole world. You're doing your small part, says Hashem, to me means the whole world. What Hashem wants us to see is to do our chilek, to do our voida, to do our job. We want the base of Mikdash rebuilt, but what do we do? We have to care. And we really have to daven for it the whole year, not only on Tisha B'Av. We get a daven for rebuilding the base of Mikdash. So says the Nefesh Achaim, one shouldn't tell himself, who am I to daven to build the base of Mikdash? Because you are capable of actually building the base of Mikdash, says the Nefesh Achaim. You could do it if you daven for it, if you care for it, if you actually change your actions, Benadam Lechavero, you can actually really build the base of Mikdash. So says the Nefesh Achaim, don't let this yet Sahar tell you, who am I to build the base of Mikdash? Because you can specifically, actually through your tefillahs and actions, build a Beit HaMikdash. If all of us thought like this, if all of us live by our lives, by understanding how much of a difference we can make in rebuilding the Beit HaMikdash, by now the Beit HaMikdash would have been rebuilt. The issue is that we don't believe in ourselves enough. We don't believe in ourselves enough. We think there are so many other people that are from, there are so many other people doing Torah Mitzvahs, there's so many Rabbanim, there was so many Rabbanim, there will be so many Rabbanim. Do I really make a difference? That's where the mistake starts. You can make a tremendous difference. Your chilek means the whole world to Hashem. But do your chilek. Daven for the base of Mikdash. Every day, five minutes of Tehillim. You daven for Parnasa. You daven for health, for children, for bracha, for nachas. How about five minutes a day to daven for the Shekhinah, daven for HaKadosh Baruch Hu, to rebuild the Beit HaMikdash. Daven, take upon yourself that for now on this upcoming year, my tefillahs are going to be more about the Beit HaMikdash.